A local boy's dreams dashed. Plans to play football in college ending with a freak accident. And tonight the questions are mounting. The elevator that killed him shouldn't have ever been in operation. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Claire Kellett. Both Samantha and Corey had the night off. Jamarcus McFarland went to Pattonville High School in Maryland Heights and recently the 18 year old moved to Atlanta for prep school so he could go to college and play football. Then on Tuesday of this week, the elevator at his student housing gave out. And tonight, News 4's Jenna Ray with those remembering him and video of the situation that became a matter of life and death. And before we show you, we want to warn you, this video may be hard to watch. A respectable young man, a humble young man, and, you know, a man with conviction and purpose and knew exactly what he wanted in life. After just a month at Champion Prep Academy in Atlanta, coaching staff tells News 4 Jamarcus McFarland made a huge impact. He's definitely uh, uh, uh integral part of our leadership amongst our players on our team. And, uh, you know, we, we're not going to be able to replace that. It's this building where the teen's football dreams would end. This video obtained by News 4 sister station in Atlanta shows the moments before Jamarcus McFarland's death. People on the elevator attempting to get out as the elevator falls. 444 Highway Avenue. Atlanta police now releasing the multiple calls for help. The elevator collapsed on him. Can we please okay. He's being crushed by the elevator door. McFarland's family says he told them the elevator had been having problems and he was afraid to get on it. Our sister station finding this certificate showing the elevator was passed due for an inspection with the last one expiring in August 2020. McFarland's legacy lives on not only in Atlanta, but across Missouri as well. He was always a ball player. He was always a kid that would do what you ask him to do. I mean, sometimes you have to get after him a little bit. You know, big boys, they don't want to run as much, but when, when he did it was always awesome. Pattonville High School football coach Steve Smith says even then he knew McFarland was bound for greatness. He was definitely a kid that made a difference. Uh, he, he had great personality, great character. He liked to joke a lot and uh, he, he was a kid that would when it's time to work and we tell him to focus in and lock in, he would focus in and lock in and do the things necessary to be successful. In Maryland Heights, Jenna Ray, News 4. Here's more on the investigation into Jamarcus's death. News for sister station says residents of that student housing said they've been complaining about those elevators for quite some time. The property manager claims the elevator safety check was delayed because of the pandemic. The city of Atlanta, though, says that is not at all true when they are investigating. This elevator remains out of operation tonight. In the meantime, the McFarland family is working to get Jamarcus's body back here to Missouri. If you feel that you can help them help this family, there's a GoFundMe in operation. You can find that link in this story right now on the KMOV News app.